Dem Congresswomen plot crashing Trump's SADU address, foiled when they forget one detail. As President Donald Trump's State of the Union address approaches, conniving Democratic Congresswomen conspired to crash his speech with a vulgar protest. However, just when they thought their plans were foolproof, their little plot was ruined thanks to one little detail they forgot. Before the election of President Donald Trump, liberals mocked his perceived inability to win the presidency. As soon as he was proven the victor, the left began its underhanded attacks in a bid to have him removed from the White House. While unfounded allegations of Russian collusion seemed to be a favorite of desperate Democrats for over a year, dissenters have once again revived the sexual assault accusation trend in the hopes that they can finally take down Trump. Unfortunately for them, every step they take backfires majorly. Jumping on the Ben wagon, congressional virtue signalers have latched onto Hollywood's passive Me Too fad in the hope that they can use the tired social justice campaign to defeat Trump. Following in the footsteps of elite liberal hypocrites like Meryl Streep and Oprah, leftist female officials are planning to wear all black to protest alleged sexual assault and harassment during Trump's speech. Of course, they forgot one tiny yet major detail. After planning to protest President Donald Trump's State of the Union address on January 30 by wearing black attire, Democratic Congresswoman Rep. Jackie Spire, C.A., House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi, C.A., and Senator Kristen Gillibrand, N.Y., were reminded that they have repeatedly supported and defended known sexual predators while criticizing their female victims, The Daily Wire reports. The Hash Me Too Congress campaign which was intended to show support for victims of sexual abuse, is now widely considered to be a joke as the women leading the movement are guilty of expressing solidarity with democratic sexual predators. Both Rep. Jackie Spire and Rep. Nancy Pelosi came under fire in November 2017 for defending accused sexual harasser Rep. John Conyers, Demi, going as far as to call him an American icon who deserves due process. Of course, these are the same women who immediately condemned Trump as a sexual predator when several accusers suddenly came out of the woodwork during his 2016 campaign, despite not one claim being verified over a year later. Pelosi called for due process, claiming that Conyers deserves a Senate ethics investigation because he has been such a strong supporter of women's issues, including the Violence Against Women Act, which Pelosi claimed the right wing was now using against him. Calling Conyers an American icon, Pelosi appeared to insist that there was something odd about Conyers' position as an alleged sexual harasser, and even went on to claim the women accusing Conyers have not come forward, despite the fact that there appear to have been settlements, made with the assent of congressional authorities, using taxpayer funds. Likewise, Senator Kristen Gillibrand refuted former Senator Al Franken's, MN, accusers choosing instead to defend the notorious congressional groper. It was only after more than a dozen women came forward with evidence of Franken's sexually abusive behavior, including incriminating photos, that Gillibrand finally agreed that he should resign. Initially, she refused to call for him to step down and may have never done so if she didn't see the hypocrisy in condemning Roy Moore for the same allegations. Still, the Democratic Congresswomen saddled up their high horse and equated their hashtag activism to the monumental efforts of the original suffragettes. We are supporting the brave women in every industry and every corner of the country who are making their voices heard, Pelosi said in a statement. We are at a watershed moment in the nationwide fight against sexual harassment and discrimination, and we must continue to keep up the drumbeat of action for real change. This is a culture change that is sweeping the country, and Congress is embracing it," Spire, who launched Hash Me to Congress in response to a social media movement against sexual harassment, told HuffPost on Tuesday. Of course, Hollywood also lauded their decision to wear black, once again mocking the real victims of sexual abuse by failing to use their incredible power and wealth to do anything beneficial for their cause. This is not about Hollywood. Actress Deborah Messing said during a red carpet interview before the awards show Sunday. This is about every woman in every industry, globally. Once again, the Democratic hypocrites will look like out of touch fools as they parade around in black designer clothing worth thousands of dollars, 
money which could have gone to organizations that assist the victims of sexual abuse. Thankfully, because of their inability to come out of their ivory towers, these liberal politicians will continue to lose elections and supporters as the American people are forced to watch them patting each other on the back for no more than offering lip service at the taxpayer's expense. expense.